Hello and welcome to T Academy. In today's lecture, we'll learn how to solve linear constant coefficient differential equations. And we'll be solving this equation, y dot of t plus 2 times y of t is equal to x of t. So a differential equation gives an implicit relationship between the input x of t and the output y of t. Now if we want to find out an explicit relationship for the output in terms of the input, then we have to find out two solutions, yp of t and yh of t, and then add these two to find the total solution, where yp of t is called the particular solution so this is the response of the system to a particular input also sometimes called the forced response forced response of the system on the other hand we have y h of t which is the homogeneous solution and this is the response of the system when no input is applied. Another term for homogeneous solution is the natural response. Natural response of the system. So now we'll find these two solutions for this equation and see how we can compute the particular response as well as the homogeneous solution. First, we'll start with the homogeneous solution or the natural response of the system. So as I mentioned, in order to find the natural response, we put the input to zero. So if I put the input zero in this equation, then I can write y dot of t plus 2 times y of t is equal to 0. So this is the equation that I want to solve in order to find the natural response. Now the way to find the natural response is that we put an eigenfunction of the form a times e to the power st to this equation where a is a constant and e to the power st is an eigen function. So substituting a e to the power st into this equation, we get d by dt of a times e to the power st plus 2 times a times e to the power st is equal to 0. So taking the derivative here, we get a s times e to the power s t plus 2 times a times e to the power s t is equal to 0. Now a e to the power s t can cancel from this whole equation and we are left with s plus 2 is equal to 0 which gives s is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the homogeneous solution y h of t is equal to a times e to the power minus 2 t. So this is the homogeneous solution or the natural response. Next, we calculate the particular solution. And for this problem, we are assuming that the system that is represented by this differential equation has an input of an exponential function. So I excite this system with an input k times e to the power minus t and then the output that I will get from this system will be the particular solution. So now the assumption that we make is that if the input, the particular input to this system is a decaying exponential, then the response 
of the system will also be a decaying exponential but with some other constant y times e to the power minus 3t. So now if I substitute this input to the differential equation and this as the output then we can rewrite our differential equation as d by dt of y times e to the power minus 3t plus 2 times y times e to the power minus 3t is equal to k times e to the power minus 3t. So this is the equation that we want to solve. So taking this derivative, we will get minus 3 times y times e to the power minus 3t plus 2 times y times e to the power minus 3t is equal to k times e to the power minus 3t. And e to the power minus 3t can cancel from this whole expression and we are left with the relation that minus y is equal to k. So this gives a relationship of these two constants which relate the input to the output. Therefore, the particular solution y p of t can be written as y which is equal to minus k times e to the power minus 3t. So this is the particular solution. Now in order to find out the total solution y of t, we have to add the homogeneous solution which was a e to the power minus 2t plus the particular solution which we found out as minus k e to the power minus 3t. Now in addition to this equation, we need an auxiliary condition to find the constants in this expression. And this we can find by assuming that our system is an LTI causal system, which means that if I apply a zero input to the system, so let's say if this is x of t and x of t is zero till a time t naught, then the response y of t will also be zero till this time period of t naught and then we have this decaying exponential at t naught which is then applied to the system. So here we assume t naught to be equal to zero and based on the assumption of an LTI causal system, we know that the output has to be zero for t naught equal to zero and from here if we substitute t equal to zero we get e to the power minus two times zero plus minus k times e to the power minus three times zero and this gives k is equal to a. Therefore the total response y of t becomes equal to k times e to the power minus 2t minus k times e to the power minus 3t which can be written as k e to the power minus 2t minus e to the power minus 3t. So this is the solution of the differential equation. Assuming that the system is LTI causal and the input is a decaying exponential of the form k e to the power minus 3t. So that's it for today's lecture. I hope today's lecture makes clear to you how to solve linear constant coefficient differential equations by dividing the solution into the homogeneous solution as well as the particular solution. So we'll continue our series on signals and system. So if you like the content, please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video. Bye.